Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you who are new here, then hi, my, my name is Erica, and today I'm gonna be talking a bit about the Dad Challenge podcast. I've I've talked about him, I think, twice on my channel before, so you might want to watch those first, or I guess it it doesn't really matter, but. I saw a video by Sincerely Sharon where she react to Josh's The Dad Challenge podcast's video about him being catfished and just going over his channel and what he thinks about the criticism directed at him. And I really liked Sharon's video. But I'm not going to react to his video. That's just not what I am in the mood. And also, Sharon already did that. So that's already been done. But I do have a lot of thoughts on his video. So if you'd like to see that, then just continue watching. So if you don't know, some of the criticism towards the death the Dad Challenge podcast, is that although he says he's anti-family vlogger, he just sits on his channel and makes fun of women and tears women to shreds for like, for very minor things like their hair or how they talk or their weight or their body or how they decorate their house. And so Josh responded to that with his video saying, well, actually, I do that. So I do that to help other women so that women realize that these women they're looking up to is aren't perfect. And so they don't compare themselves to these women. When I heard that, I'm not going to lie, I kind of laughed a bit because that is a laughable excuse. <sighs> Women don't need a man to tear down other women to make them feel better about the themselves. And actually, like, this is a bit more personal, like, it's more my uh, opinion. I mean, most of my videos are my opinion, but a lot of it in this video is going to be mostly my opinion. But, like, when, when I hear men tearing down women, even if they're saying something negative about a woman that I don't partake, particularly like no 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 matter what it makes me feel bad about myself because I'm like if a man can sit sit there and tear apart this other woman then what does he say behind my back and not even that but then but then the second that I do something that that, and that this man does not like. He's going to tear me apart for everything, and it doesn't matter if it's unrelated. Okay, my audience on YouTube is 98% women between the ages of 22 and 44. Social media is bad for you, specifically when it comes to your self-image. So, when I make fun of these people, it's not because I want to sleep with them, okay? It's, that's dumb. I absolutely... And I don't like that. I, I hate when men sit there and tear down women. I mean, I don't really like when women sit there and tear down women, but especially men. And then especially going to use, well, I, I'm doing it for the benefit of women. What woman asked you to do that? Because I know, I, I know for a fact I, I, I didn't because I would never like that, you tearing down these other women in no way helps me, in no way makes me feel better about myself. 
if anything, it makes me feel worse about myself because most of the things he tears them down for are pretty sexist and misogynistic, like, you know, like feminine traits or even like a masculine traits because the thing is, is women are torn apart for everything. And if you're a woman, you probably already know that. That it, it's, women are treated much differently, especially in the media. And the Dad Challenge podcast just perpetuates that. By mostly tearing down women and not just critiquing their a- actions or things they do that he doesn't agree with, but he'll make fun of their hair, the way they talk, how they decorate their house, like, for things that don't even matter and that have nothing to do with with his whole I, I had my family vlogging mission. And I don't care what he says because I don't, I don't think that helps his cause. And here's why. And, and sincerely, Sharon also talked about this in her video. But I think the reason some family vloggers are stopping it isn't for because they realize what they've been doing is wrong and exploitative, but instead it's because they don't want to be made fun of by Josh and his fans anymore. And right now you may be thinking, well, that, that's okay because if they stop, does it really matter what the reason they're stopping is? And one point that Heron made was that many of these family vloggers will stop for a short period of time. And then when they believe that, that the coast is clear, they will then return to their old family vlogging ways. So if you... If you do not want people to be monetizing their children on the internet and you do not want them to be showing their children in their most vulnerable states in their most vulnerable state online then then you should focus on that and not focus on trivial things like like how somebody decided to cut her her hair or how ugly her lipstick is or wow she has way too much botox because you know what that has nothing to do with what with the with what the woman is doing to her children. So if you want, if that's, if you're saying your goal is to shed light onto like the dangers and the negative aspects of family vlogging, then do that. Do that. But don't sit here and tear him down. And then the, the second you're called out on a you just white knight for him and then you're like oh I'm doing it to help their um, body image well you're not guess what I've struggled with an ED throughout my life and it never helps me when I see men tearing down other women I'm never like oh wow I feel so much better about myself now I've never said that in my life about a man tearing down women. It doesn't benefit me. And I don't think it really benefits any women. And, and of course, this is conjecture. But, but I was saying this to my mom before. It's not relevant that I was saying it to my mom, but I'm just saying I was saying it to my mom. But 
I was saying to my mom, like, I think he just came up with that that just justification in the moment because it's such a ridiculous justification. He's probably like, oh, what can I say to make it sound better? How about I say this is going to help women and it makes women feel better about themselves. And it's a guess what? Most women know that social media is fake and a lot of it is very contrived and and so what, what i'm trying to achieve here and maybe this is what i should have done really early on i'm trying to achieve something here that allows you guys to realize stop comparing yourself to these damn people they're fake everything about them is fake every absolute little thing about them right down to their effing eyelashes is fake so why do you stand these people? Why do you watch them? Why do you compare yourself to them? Everything is kind of put into place and social media is very de deceiving. But guess what, Josh? Women aren't as stupid as you seem to think we are. Most of us realize that. Like, I realize when I go on Instagram, I'm going to see people in poses where their body might look different from them, like, them just existing in their everyday life. I'm not stupid because I'm a woman. And that's what I really didn't like about his video. Is he acted like the male savior who's coming to save the day and help women and save women from the dangers of social media. But it's like, guess what? Most women realize it's fake. 99% of us will never be able to achieve what we see on, on social media. Those people posting also don't achieve it. They fake it. It's not real, okay? It's just when you're on Instagram posting your body all over the place, you're not happy. I'm sorry. Yeah, you make a ton of money, maybe you're happy that way, but there's so many people, especially family vloggers and everybody else, who get up here and get big, big crowds of people, make tons and tons of money, and they all change. That doesn't always make us feel better about ourselves. A lot of the times, and, and this isn't, I have no scientific proof to to back this up but this is my experience having an ed and going to treatment and meeting other people who struggled with eds is a lot of people i met there and in including me i mean i didn't meet myself there but one thing i realized is Look, like, other people didn't cause my ED. It was something inside of myself. EDs are basically addictions. They're a, a coping mechanism when, when people cannot cope with with whatever's go going on in their life. And they can be a a exacerbated by like external pressures, like, like impossible beauty standards and like the, the pressure to do well in school and the pressure to have this perfect career and be this perfect woman. But they're not caused by that. They're caused by something within the, a person. So you were white knighting for these women saying, oh, I'm helping you by knocking other women down. You're not. You're avoiding me that he would even say that and, and pretend that he's doing this for the benefit of women because it, it just felt very patronizing, you know? Like, we don't need 
a man to swoop in and save us from these unrealistic, these unrealistic standards. Women realize that the media is very fake. And yet, we still struggle a lot with self-esteem. And I'm not going to blame this all on Josh, because that would be a very convenient scapegoat. But what what I will say is I do think he's making the issue worse by doing that. Because when men, he's contributing to a culture where men can just tear him in down. And so when people are like, oh, he, I can't, you know, he makes fun of women. Yeah, I've been doing that the whole damn time on this channel, everybody, the whole time, okay? And I won't stop, okay? If, and I'm gonna say for no reason, but I, I, I wanna clarify that I realize he's doing this because he, he well, at least, he says that he cares about the exploitation of children. And that's fine. <clears throat> if he wants to do that, he can. But there's a certain point you don't go past. You should really focus on the issue at and and I realized that Josh was like, well, well then how come my channel has done better than other people's channels who also call out family vloggers. Well, yeah, that that's because people love drama. That, that's why people watch, like, Jersey Shore and, like, I don't want to say mindless TV, but, like, like, heady dramas. A lot of people like that. Because it's an escape from, like, reality. And they get to just, like, hedge out and zone out and just laugh. But that doesn't mean you're being successful at... Uh, that doesn't mean you're achieving your goal. Because you may be gaining subscribers and you may be getting a ton of views but that doesn't mean you're achieving your goal of stopping the exploitation of children because if people are more if people are watching you to like laugh at your like snark and stuff then they're probably barely paying attention to your actual message and that and that's just my thoughts i may be off base but i i just wanted to give my thoughts and thank you so much for watching if you learned something or if you enjoyed this video for whatever reason please give it a big thumbs up and if you have not already and you would like to see more of my content please consider hitting that subscribe button Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.